Last night has to rate as perhaps the most surreal evening of my life. Like Gregor Samsa in Kafka's Metamorphosis, I awoke in the morning, I rush to the bathroom, look in the mirror, and what do I see? My head is still yellow. It had not been a dream. The whole thing began the evening before when these two vivacious ladies came to my apartment and picked me up on one small motor scooter. The three of us pile on to this, uh, this small motor scooter and we go chugging along, zipping and darting through intense traffic to finally arrive at a very nice, chic um, ice cream shop where they bought me a, a, a cup of ice cream with nuts and stuff in it. It, it was quite delicious. As I'm sitting there watching these beautiful people stroll by, the ladies began to, to, to speak about my hair, occasionally taking liberties and running their hands through my hair. I don't, I don't speak uh, Vietnamese, they don't speak English, so who knows? Ice cream finished, we pile back onto the, to the motor scooter and we go zipping through a couple of um, uh, very interesting neighborhoods to finally arrive, which seemed like a secluded, um, somewhat more humble neighborhood. We, we stop in front, of, uh, in front of this beauty salon, they usher me in, they motioned me to sit on the, uh, on the client chair, and they began to speak with the stylist. I assumed about what style of hair should be cut. Well, as the process began, it soon became evident that something strange was afoot. The lady applied this gunky paste on my head and kept combing it back and forth with such vigor. Uh, and then she motioned me to sit on the, the lounge basin. She rinsed it all off and, and gave me a very nice head massage, uh, a face massage, uh, which somewhat allied my concerns. However, when it was all done, I get up, I look in the mirror, and to my shock, my head was yellow. And then I remembered that it is quite the fashion in Hanoi for very young men to have their hair dyed yellow. I mean, very young men, not an old guy like me. The idea of, of me having yellow hair would have been a million miles away from the most remote thought in my head. Indeed, I would have thought it abhorrent. But you see, Therein lies the beauty and the magic. For fate had bestowed upon me a rare opportunity to be forced out of the customary routine, the biases, the prejudices, the, the comfort zone. And it is precisely these moments, wise men throughout the ages agree, that are an opportunity for personal growth, and evolution. Well, the ladies uh, whisked me out of the beauty shop. We went to a nightclub. Uh, they ordered a magnificent roast duck feast with uh, quite a variety of scrumptious side dishes, wine, fruit. It was all wonderful. We did some karaoke singing. We then did quite a bit of disco dancing. My yellow head bopping and weaving to the beat of the music. Around midnight, they call a, a motor scooter taxi to take me home. I arrived finally at around 12.30. I thought, no, it, it was all a dream, and I went right to bed. In the morning, I wake up, rush to the bathroom, look in the mirror, and I find this. Well, as the great Edgar Allan Poe, all that we see or seem is but life within a dream. In Hanoi, Vietnam.